nice boulder project right from inside here. Uh, this project is, uh, you know, we have a partnership with Grover Cleveland Conservancy and us. Uh, Carol Meshi does an excellent job. Uh, the reason this park stays in such great shape, we have our parks people absolutely do a great job here as far as maintaining the, the grounds and also the facility for the Grover Cleveland Park Conservancy also does their jobs and we're partners. Uh, I think this project was about $650,000 in. I don't know what phase it is, but we've been working on this park for the past eight years and moving forward. Uh, as far as the work that we're doing out here, my good friend Paul from the Grover Cleveland Conservancy has been bothering me for eight years in reference to this project. He's an engineer, and he knows what needs to be done. So we're, I think this is the last phase in this particular park, and once we're done with here, it's probably basically going to be just the maintenance work that needs to be up there, and we're going to continue to do that. Nicole, why don't you explain the project, what's happening here? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nicole Shapiro. I'm with a company called Zuberry. We're located in Bluefield, New Jersey, so Essex County is our home as well. What we have here is, um, right now, you can see that they're constructing to a full wall reconstruction of uh, about 200 linear feet of wall that's sort of leaning into the brook. We're, getting, we're tearing that down. We're doing a new footing. We're putting steel reinforcement. Paul wants to know why the footing is so wide. In his days, it just doesn't matter. Uh -huh. This, this wall is built to last, so <laughs> not going to go anywhere with that. Like, rules are changed. That's what I told you. Rules are changed. Our structural engineer, George, is here. He was a big help on doing that design, as well as our construction inspection um, engineer, Chris Baldwin. And um, really what we're doing is we're reconstructing segments of the wall. We're doing repointing of the stone. So you can see like in areas where they're broken out and they're, they look like they're uh, needing some filler, those areas will be filled in. Um, the facade of the wall will then match the um, rest of the wall. Um, and, uh, what we're doing also is we're fixing the weir, um, which is located right outside, um, to hold back that water so that the pond is constantly filled with water. And we're reconstructing that um, inlet, the pipe, the head wall. Um, there won't be that bump on the walkway that you see now. And um, it's going to be moved up the lake floor uh, because more water will be coming into the Right. Lake. More water will be coming out, spillway will work. Um, and also we're doing reconstruction of the uh, stream bed. Some areas are cobblestone, some areas are um, concrete, and we're gonna do full, full width reconstruction in different segments um, where the um, stream bed has come up um, due to the force of the water. Why don't you explain this side, because this is where we always have the problem. This, this here is a photo of the pond inlet. It's um, located really directly outside. Um, there's a weir that's located just south of that, it pulls the water back, and, and that allows the pond to be filled. And so what we're doing is we're reconstructing it because right now trash is getting in there, it's clogging up. It goes from this big wide opening to a smaller age pipe, and that's old debris is um, getting put in there. So we're gonna put um, an 18 inch pipe um, in there, and we're gonna keep that opening, and we're gonna put a trash rack on there so that no more debris comes in there. And um, we're going to reconstruct that head wall, and on the on the downstream side where it enters the pond, we're going to basically clear out the siltation that's um, stopping the water from flowing in there. So hopefully, Kashmir, the um, maintenance park um, that takes care of the uh, the grounds here, will we'll love that aspect of it. So. All right, Nick from Zena, come up here, Nick. <laughs> you know, this week we had a press conference in. Uh, in West Orange, we're building a, a boathouse over the Orange Reservoir. Okay. And uh, what company, who won that bidding in? I forgot. Yeah. Oh, 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 Bismarck's on that one. And they're going to meet the date. That's going to be done by October 1st. <laughs> and then on Thursday, yesterday, we had another press conference at the Big Cat exhibit. And the zip line, Choker, Choker, listen to me. Choker, Choker won that bid. Okay. And they're going to have that done by August 1st. Now this project here. I'm gonna be everybody. You're gonna be everybody by July fourth. July fourth, they'll be ready. That's it. Cleaned up. Cleaned up. And they'll be yeah. done. They'll be done. All right. That's I got to tell you. July first. July first is two months earlier than it's supposed to. Four months, right? <laughs> but Zena promised this. July fourth. July fourth. 
Do you have any questions the, about this? The deadline is July 25th, but I'm going to treat this out of schedule. All right. That's Make my sure deadline. That. Yes. Now, Paul is an engineer. He's the one who's been wanting this stuff. I am at him already. Make sure you keep him happy. We have a meeting. Because if not, it'll be cold.